Hey, this is Andy Brown. I am the head instructor at the Climber School of Real Estate in Orlando, Florida. <clears throat> and I now want to help you out with number 20 on our free broker math practice exam on our website, climberrealestateschool.com. This is a real estate tax question. Let me read it to you first, and I'm going to tell you why I'm doing it. It says a broker's home is assessed at $275,000. County tax rate is 8.7 mils, city tax rate is 7.9 mils, school board tax rate is 6.5 mils. The broker, a non-veteran and recently widowed, has not remarried and is rated 10% disabled by his doctor. What are the total annual real estate taxes? All right, I put this on here because everything that I have heard, you're going to get a real estate tax question on your exam. And actually, from my students, I've heard three. <clears throat> and they're all right there. So I've given you this question I'm going to help you with, and there's a lot of tricks in here that you're going to see in the state exam. I'm going to, I'm going to lay them out for you so you know what the tricks are. I don't want my students falling for the tricks on the state exam. So basically, <clears throat> you can see the board. I have everything lined out. Let me remind you. You know, if, if, you, if you declare the home you're living in as your homestead, you get the homestead exemption, up to $50,000 exempted from taxes. Now, one area where people kind of get messed up is there are three completely separate and, and different taxing entities, the county, the city, and the school board. They're totally separate. If your home is assessed at over $75,000, you get the full maximum exemption. The maximum for a county is $50,000. The maximum homestead exemption for a city is $50,000. However, the maximum homestead exemption for your school board taxes is only $25,000. Additionally, under certain circumstances, you can get a little bit extra exemption. If you are a widow or widower, not remarried, which is in the problem, you get another $500 and it's on each one. Next, if you are a non-veteran and you're 100% disabled, you get another $500. If you are a veteran and you're rated 10% disabled by your doctor from a service-related injury, you get another $5,000. What they like to do in the state exam is mix the information and they're going to ask you a non-veteran rated 10% disabled. You don't get anything extra. Uh, your mind's going to play tricks on you, but you don't get anything extra. All right, next, let's take a look at this. And, and again, this is where kind of, people kind of mess up. However, the assessed value, which comes from the county property appraiser, minus your exemption equals your taxable value. Each one of the entities, county, city, and school board, they've all got their own budget, they've all got their own tax rate. So you take the, the taxable value and multiply it by that entity's tax rate. So let me show you what I did here. County, so that's the 275. You get 50,000 max plus the extra 500 for being a widow, not remarried. Taxable value is 224.5 multiplied by the tax rate of 8.7 mils, which is 0 .0087. Now check this out. Your county tax bill is $1,953.15. Do that again for city, right? Different tax rate. The city tax bill is $1,773.55. That's the bill. School board, you still get the extra $500, but $25,000 is the mass exempt. So the school board taxable value is $249.5. The school board tax rate is six and a half mils or 0 0.0065. So the school board tax bill is $1,621.35. Now, the answer to the problem on the practice exam would be adding all three of these together. B. Baker, $5,348.45. The reason why I'm showing you this way is because what I've been told, this is how they do it on the exam. You get three questions. They're going to ask you, figure out county taxes, they're going to ask you to figure out city taxes, and they're going to ask you to figure out school board taxes. And I'd love it if you would get it right if, with a little bit of my help. I love helping my students pass, especially on their first try. That's how you do 20 and possibly 
the three state exam questions you'll get at Pearson View. Stay in touch with me. Let me know how you do. I mean, if you need any help, you can email me, call me at 407-822-3926. You don't want to come to see me. In fact, after you pass the exam, you're going to need your broker post licensing. You need to think about coming here. We have the best broker post licensing in all of Florida. It's more of an experience than a class. I promise you, you will love it. If you need any help, get a hold of me. In the meantime, don't overthink this stuff. And as usual, good luck on the state exam.